Family's getting together, y'all, for this one. How is it going? Devin and I, we tested positive, you guys. Getting my coffee. You gonna come hang out with us then? We'll tell you about the symptoms we're experiencing, and then we're gonna actually dive into some fishing content, because that's probably what you guys want to see on the channel anyways. So, uh, what happened, babe? I mean, you're, you're, you're probably the one who How got it. How I gave it to you? You're probably the one who got it. Now you guys know that over the past year that Weston's been focusing on the YouTube, I've still been working and I work in a restaurant. So, I mean, even though we abide by all the guidelines of the social distancing and the only the 50% occupancy and I wear a mask and every time we both even go out, which we don't really go out all that often, uh, we wear masks and everything. But the only thing that I can really gauge is that, I mean, I probably, there, there's really no telling where we got it. I mean, honestly, we were just coming out of that whole like winter storm in Texas. The ice freeze. Yeah, in a matter of a week, it went from like literally zero degrees yeah. to like sunny and 80 and beautiful. Kind of like to, when you get sick anyways, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, I just thought I got a little con congested or cold sinus type stuff from the weather change and uh, I mean, it kind of just progressed over another couple days. So she went and got tested. She tested positive. I, I wasn't expecting that. I was just thinking <laughs> it's gonna be another cold. But it was like the morning that she went and tested positive that I woke up with a bad headache. And I don't usually yeah. get headaches. So that was like, I was like, oh, I was like, I've got whatever she's got. <laughs> and it's just been like fatigue and dry cough and uh, pressure in the ears. Uh, Congestion. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, feel I feel like I sound just like congested. Yeah, I yeah. Just speaking of congestion, she's like losing her smell and her taste I think yeah. is going away. Like, can you taste the coffee? I can taste it, but <laughs> I can't. We bought I this awesome espresso it. machine and we can't I, taste and enjoy the coffees at home now. I know. We don't want to bore you guys with a whole bunch of negativity. Uh, <laughs> we know you come here for fishing content, but hey, we got the thing. This We're is definitely a bit of a damper considering it's the beginning of March. People are catching big fish out here in Texas right it's now. And it's extremely we're like, irritating. It is very irritating. So you might see us fish, and if you mm. do, it's gonna be in isolation, probably off the boat, like not in contact with anyone, not like making stops on the way to the lake except to get the boat. And then uh, otherwise, we're just gonna be quarantining in the house. We're already three days in at this point, and maybe longer by the time you see this video. So there is that. But I want to quickly now jump to some fishing stuff for you guys so you're not just caught here at the dinner table with us for the next two weeks quarantining. So. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we get out on Lake Fairfield in today's footage that I'm going to show for you guys. It was filmed a while back before we got uh, diagnosed. With a guide, his name's Colin. I'm going to have all of his information down in the description. It was actually on the tail end of a two-day tournament. So this was on a Sunday, I believe, and there was like 50 boats. I mean, the place was jamming. And, oops, sorry, Milo. And we were trying not to like get in their way, right? Like they're trying to earn a paycheck. We kind of got out there, kept some distance from those guys, and uh, were able to secure a four-pounder in the boat like real quick. And then from there on out, it was a lot of smaller fish but we got on some serious numbers. Colin really knows the lake, he knows what they want, so if you wanna get out with him, check him out in the description. Even the locals were saying like nobody was catching fish. Like I don't, I think the bag to win this tournament was not heavy whatsoever. Like it was just fishing slow this weekend and yet we got 30 to 35 fish in the boat by the end of the day. So you guys might Welcome. actually really enjoy this footage. 30 to 35 fish in now, now, on the flip side, there was probably 40 pounds of fish brought in those 30 to 35 fish. So, you know, the weight factor wasn't necessarily there, but the numbers were, Colin knows how to catch them. And so it's me and my buddy John, by the way. John is the one who invited me out there to go fish with both of them. Huge shout out to John. Put his information down in the description. He's been catching he bigs. Big. Just recently caught a double digit in his neck of the woods, as well as another lake record in length. Uh, so I'm gonna, yeah, you guys go check out his page, but yeah, big shout out, thank you for the invite, and it was the three of us on the boat, we get on a bunch of them, let's go ahead and roll the footage. I got one tied on. I was going for the battle shad first. I'm like, you know what? We're here for the big baits, but let me let me see if we can get a little little sump sump. Check us out. I think this is the blue crawl color right here. It's cold out here, y'all. We're making our first few casts. This is a little breeze this morning. Water is clear. Hydrilla just about four feet down, and uh, I'm rocking the bladed jig to get things kicked off. 
half ounce clickbait, little saucy swimmer trailer. John, what are you throwing? Swim jig, baby. Swim jig is what he's rocking. Four inch spark shad. And then it's Colin, right, Colin? What are you yeah. throwing? Uh, I got a red eye shad. And then Colin is throwing the red eye shad, man. It's about to be a good old time. We're going to catch him today. We're, they're throwing a tournament out here, man. And these guys up in front of us have already got, what, two fish? I think I saw him get a second. Yeah, so they're active right now. Colin's on with the first one of the day on the trap. Has he got you down in the grass or is he just kind of dogging it out? He's, man, he's pulling. Wow. They, dude, they fight so hard, they're so healthy. There we go. Oh, no, it's got yeah, you might have some lighter line on there. He's got trouble with the chocolate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You. There we go, throwing the treble hooks. Being safe with the net right here. Looking solid. There you go. Plump. Yeah, that's fat. That's probably going for four. Okay, I guess lipless is what it is. Oh, that's the good stuff though. That's what I want. Grass, baby! Grass! We made one move so far. We're all throwing the same bait as Colin because he's raking them up on this little uh, like blue lipless crank right here. He's on fish number three for the day. Yeah, we're just getting things started though. Sun hasn't even peeked out yet, you guys. Looks like a... Barely got the, they're pretty fat though. I can't tell if it's two or three yet. Yeah, that's a plump doubled little two. Up. There we go. Doubled up. All right. So they're starting to hit this thing, boys. The lipless. And it seems like he's got a little fight, John. <laughs> nice. Hold on, John. I'll get that net for you. Got a little fight. Easy money. Too bad we ain't in this tournament. Two and two casts. They're liking this little lipless crank right above the grass out here, man. It's perfect. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> flip flop right there. Oh, God dang! Were you even ruining it? Yeah. Oh. Saw that. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I heard a little slip. What's on here? What are you throwing? That's oh, right. it came off. Aye, oh. that gum it, that gum it. <laughs> That's fish number five to get hooked into. I think four has made it into the boat. Just making the YouTube videos and doing Instagram. My wife is bartending though. So we're kind of like living off of her income mainly. And then what I make is either just invested right back into the videos with new baits to cover and new to film or uh, just saved, just, just put it away. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just making the videos right now. <laughs> You've been working that worm for a minute, paying off though, huh? Grass almost up to the surface. You would think I'm getting pounced on by a bass any second. All right, we're switching things up now. Bottom baits seem to be hitting in this midday crisis. Nice. Nice. He is on them. I'm putting one of these guys' nail weights right into the head of this five inch lunker log. Going with a Nico rig, essentially a weighted wacky rig, you guys. Yep, yeehaw. Ten of them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. He's got him. <laughs> He's dialed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Golly. It worked, man. Yep. <laughs> Five times. Yeah, get a little higher. Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a pop it up a little. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Doubled up. Oh no, he came off. Dang, he came off though. Fair enough. He's got it. There we go. Oh, okay. okay. Well, he did. Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Well, first one for me. What does that put us at? 15? I can say I contributed. 13 to 1 to 1. Alrighty, bud. We'll see you. <laughs> Gee whiz. First one in the boat for me at 1.35 in the afternoon. <laughs> there you go. There he is. Oh, watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like to fight here, don't they? Oh, yeah. This is just a buck and a half or something. <laughs> Jeez. They don't mess around out here. They pull, don't they? That's awesome. All right. Get you some. Well, how did I hook you? Okay, we're good. Everything's going to pull as hard as these little ones do. Yeah. God dang. 
All right, fish number two in the boat for me. Got it. Man. Got it. Yep, Sweet. Got oh, oh, you do, don't you? Oh, there we go. All right, so here's the picture. <laughs> here's the photo opportunity. Seventeen fish. All right, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Let me unhook this guy. See you, buddy. <laughs> Let's get another. Sometimes it just takes a little distraction. That's when you get bit. I just had to replace the battery, but Colin's got us number eighteen in the boat. Get off of there. You wanna know how sensitive these rods are, y'all? I knew that was on there to whole retrieve. Control the wacker rig. Yeah. <laughs> fire them up and get on them. Yeah, all right, we just ran these things over, y'all. We're trying to fire them up. If you're gonna throw a moving bait, throw it within the next minute 30. Cut it. Oh, there he is. Just picked it up. There it is. All right, that's all you gotta do, y'all. You gotta run these fish over, stir them up, get them fired up, boys. What is that, three or four for me now? <laughs> God dang, I think we're in 18, or is this 19? 19, y'all, we have almost hit 20. We're closing in on hitting a blackjack. Woo! There we go, five inch longer log. Get these fish to eat when they don't want to. You hear me? See you, bud. When they won't hit nothing else, Guggen mates! <laughs> <laughs> quote run the fish over it gets the bait stirred up man and when the bait gets stirred up the bass go on the prowl and boom 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 weighted wacky rig we call this the nico rig ladies and gentlemen we're uh, normally throwing it on spinning gear today not so much we've got the muscle casting rod by guggen squad because uh we were anticipating the big baits but look we had to finesse it down to get on them and here's what this is we've got a five inch lunker log you could go six inch do your thing favorite color go ahead and choose it for clear water i'd say something natural green like this a little bit more stained water that's when you might break out the black and blues and then what you do is you put an o-ring on there you buy a set of those rubber o-rings and then you can rig your hook essentially backwards on this guy so what's happening is as you're popping this back to the boat or to you on the bank, etc. you're actually avoiding some of the grass because the hook is pointed backwards, so you're not gonna be getting caught up in as much of it. But what we also do with the Nico rig is we add a nail weight in the front of this guy, and that's gonna allow it to sink just a little bit faster than your standard weightless wacky rig. So since we got a little bit of a breeze here today, fishing a wacky rig, that worm's just gonna probably drift close to the top of the water. It's gonna be near the surface. You might not get it down low where it needs to be. So a little weight in the nose helps you get down to the bottom. Just pop it along till you get those hits. That's how we've been catching them. On another one? Yep, he's got another one. That one went down on it. That one just kind of <laughs> gave up on mine. Yeah. <laughs> and just as we wrap that up, here comes Colin with another one on the lipless. So maybe I'm going to switch things up. Uh, the bite was hot for a little while. There wasn't as much breeze. And now the wind has picked up. These fish might be on the move chasing bait. And that's exactly how we're getting them at the moment. Show them this fish, Colin. There's number 20 today. Ooh. That's right, that's right, four limits. By the way, there's a tournament going on out here today. I mean, when we rolled up at like 6.20 in the morning, there must have been 30 boats. And uh, I'm sure there's some money on the line. We're not necessarily partaking, but we did run into a, a group of kids who were saying it sounded like we're one of the only boats they talked to that were actually catching fish today. And by we, I really just mean Colin, but at the same time, you know, we. There he is. That's a beautiful fish. Golly, yeah, number 21, ladies and gents. See ya. Nice little jig right here. Probably do all right. Got him. Fish number 22. Ah, uh, dog. There's two back to back. All right, 25. Bring them home. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> as you're talking, as you're talking, 26 in the boat. Nice, nice, nice. 27, we're closing in on 30. We might have 40 top by the end of this if you keep going. He's on again. Yeah. He's being quiet up there, putting 28 in the boat nice and quietly. He's got 30. 29 was off camera y'all i thought i was recording and i was not but there you go bing bong boom easy. making it look easy oh golly he's on the back <laughs> what's going on 31. that's 31 <laughs> <laughs> oh no way <laughs> yeah. 32 it takes the distraction what was that little little vape action <laughs> 32. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, please. 
<laughs> this is what you've been missing out on all day. <laughs> the worm action. What did he say we were going to catch it on when we came here? <laughs> you completed the slam. <laughs> oh man. You you threw everything and it came down to exactly what he said. Exactly. <laughs>